Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Another day, another daily dose of Dismal Disney. <sighs> yeah. Well, this one, this one, you know, this one made me mad, actually. This first story irritated me, but it also made me happy because it's just proving what I was saying, which is the cast members are the heart of Disney. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we have a couple stories we're going to roll into this one, but one of them, and I'm uh, so mad about this. Um, there are cast members that have been furloughed, as we know, mm -hmm. and a lot of them have been called back, but there are a lot of cast members who have not been called back, and they got new notices that they're going to be furloughed for even longer. Now, you know, Disney can't open everything right now, obviously, and they have reasons why people are still furloughed. However, when you just gave your executives back all the pay cuts you took, you know, they gave, I guess it was 20 cent to 30 percent or 35 percent depending on the level of executive and you just gave them back their pay cuts but you but people are still furloughed and now the cast members are working together with the one union to try to make sure that people in need that are cast members in need um get food so they set up a cast member food pantry with the uh unite here three seven three seven union and some other uh, groups that are helping them to try to make sure that they get food to the cast members who need it. Yesterday, well, I guess it was uh, last month, the 28th, so a few days ago, they had a line that people were lined up at 4.30 in the morning to get in line for food that was going to start being distributed around like 8.30, and, and it was two miles long. Oh, my God. The so, line. So... <sighs> To put this in perspective, yeah, Disney. I mean, we know they're not doing well. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk more about that here in in some other articles. But yeah, their their cast members are in dire straits, but they're making sure their execs get get their money. They get their money back. They have the money for other other things, but they don't have money to make sure that their people have food. And uh, they said some people will show up on their bicycles. Okay, they don't even have a car, so they they come on their bikes and and put as much food in their backpacks as they can. Oh my God! And people, and there are people still out there that are cast members who didn't even get their unemployment. They never got their unemployment. Yeah, you're telling was, me about they that. They were like, you know, oh, it was pending and they never got it. There's people, and then people are like, wow, that's another job somewhere. Well, the problem is the unemployment rate is really high, and there are a lot of people out of work and not that many jobs that need filled. So for one job, you might have hundreds of applicants. So it's only they could just, you know, snap their fingers and find something else. It's not like they can just suddenly have money to move someplace else um but the union and the the cast members are taking care of each other the union actually spent like about a hundred thousand dollars for food and they said there was another organization coming in the society of saint andrew that has been doing what they can to to you know provide food as well and um but they, they're taking the volunteers are coming in so the people are laid off are volunteering their time yeah. to make sure they help others to pay it forward or whatever now you can help um apparently if you to email them if you go to my article on pirates and princesses.net you can email them or go to their facebook page and message them i i did trying to get some information about what you can do if you want to help i haven't heard back yet but um they, I know they were saying that you could, they were taking donations through like, was it Venmo or something? Yeah. Venmo. Uh, so they're going to get back to me, you know, I'm going to get some ideas on how we can help or people can help. But um, that's just one place. That's not counting all the other people that are, you know, out of luck in, in Florida because it's all based on tourism. Yeah. There's a lot of people that this is affecting. These these guys are at least able to work together. Yeah, I mean, at least they have each other. Um, that's one thing I'll give the, the Disney cast members, even if the Walt Disney Company itself is not really about, you know, it's its own family. They tend to look out for each other. Well, for a company that's always about community and family and, and positivity. I, I mean, they had lots of things to give when it first closed because they had to get rid of all that food, but they used it all as a PR opportunity. That's yeah. all it was. It's a tax write-off and PR opportunity. Well, that's the thing. Disney, look, Disney's, uh, and people know this by now, it's 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 all pillow talk, baby. It's all it's all for show. It's all PR. Give me your wallet. Yeah, and you're right. They always do these you know big events and whatever. And look how we're giving back to the community. They never and, do anything without a big PR push. Yeah, and well, look at even even with uh, you know BLM and how they're they're handling that. It's like you know they they put out these big statements or whatever, and then you've got you know John Boyega complaining. Mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, other black folks working with Disney complaining. It's like well, this is just lip service. And that's you know, a big company. That's, that's that's it. That's part yeah. of the course. So, I mean, but the cast members are living up to the family and community. And I've said a million times, and I'll say it again, cast members are what make Disney, Disney. 
Oh, absolutely. Um, they, they make or break the trip, you know? Yeah. Uh, for sure. And it's just, I mean, it's sad. You're looking at these people, you know, loading up their, their backpacks with food, and, and then Disney's turn around charging like $700 a night yeah. you know, for a hotel stay. It's ridiculous. And people, um, if you can go out to the Orlando Sentinel, too, and, and, and that's where this came, my story came from, um, they have a lot of uh, actual quotes from people or stories about people, and you can learn more about it there. Yeah, so um, you were talking about this, and and this is this is key because this happened. I mean, look, you know, Orlando, the Orlando area, Central Florida, is you know predominantly tourist uh, tourism industry, and you know why don't they just find another job? You get stuck because you know I got laid off during the recession, and you know when you've got obligations, and you definitely were not expecting to get laid off and everybody else is laid off and the jobs are scarce, you know, yeah, you can't just like pack up and move because people are like, well, I'll just go someplace else and get a job and leave your house. And if the economy is bad, you can't sell your house. Well, as it was, you had to drive, you had to go away, like, you know, several hours away and then, you know, come home on weekends for a while. Yeah, this is true. This is what happened um, for a while. I couldn't find any uh, jobs in my field in the area. I couldn't find any jobs because I was you were basically competing with everybody for a job at that point. So for me to get a job, I had to that was actually going to pay enough. Well, even though you put in for ones that weren't, they never got back to you. No, they didn't, because there's so many people that were looking. But I had to go clear across the state. So I was away from my family pretty much all week. Um, you know, and we did that for a while. It sucked. Yeah. But that's kind of, you know, because we couldn't just sell the house, you know, at that point. And yeah, so we've been there. I know what it's like. It's not everybody's like, well, just pack up and move. It's like yeah, yeah. easier said than done. If you're if you're single and you're renting, yeah, just pack up and move. But and, these people have families. Well, Orlando, too, in Florida in general, has some of the the lowest rates for unemployment and everything there but you know other states do and stuff it's just a big mess and so the cast members and the union are working together to do what they can to help each other which i thought was you know it's dismal disney news but i thought it was also positive news yeah and i wanted to 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 share that um that some people you know want to help they can um also you know it shows that you know for com- disney's community there is a community but it's not always you know, the company. Well, that's just it. Then that's, you know, when you talk about the Disney family, I think it's it's them themselves, cast members kind of coming together. Because, you know, you're talking, what, 75,000, 100,000 people, um, you know? And, yeah, Disney itself, though, I'm, I'm waiting for Abigail Disney to rip them a new one again. She's because been. She's been, like, nonstop, oh. but... Real quick, um, before you get to the next thing, I wanted to show you that the, the, if you go back down to our stories, where's the glitching? There it is. I'm not oh. going to play that thing. No, we can play but it. But this is kind of funny. It's somebody else's video, though. So apparently uh, she got tired of singing Let It Go, and she just kind of does this hand thing like, eh, eh. She's <laughs> meh. Eh, eh, eh. Everybody's, everybody's tired um, of that song. Actually, people said they think they think what it is is that's the, the, the mode they put the animatronic into when, like, the ride stopped. Yeah, and you know it didn't, and because there's no music. I mean, there's music, but just singing is not in in there, and it's just really funny. She just funny. looks bored. She's like whatever. She I think we're all tired bored. of that song. Um, so that happened. Uh, I think it, it, some people said it might be a timing issue. It does seem like the the mode that they put her in. I know her <laughs> mouth looks weird. Oh my god. Um, the people on the ride were they thought it was hilarious, it, but I do think it might be you know just a mode they use for something else but it was funny as heck yeah i I thought it was pretty funny um so let's uh you know we're gonna laugh a little because now we're gonna go back to the situation at hand here which is people are not traveling um because they're not traveling disney's not bringing in the revenue that they need to to keep all these people employed right or at least not the hours that they were employed. But they have before. the money to give their executives the the, the mass amount of executives they don't they don't need. Uh, they're pay the the reinstated. They're paid to the full level. Um, you know, they got to work the whole time. Well, they're they're doing that. I know why they're doing it because yeah. these executives are jumping ship for other companies. Well, some of them good riddance. Yeah, some of them good riddance. But they, you know, they had uh, Kevin Mayer jump ship to TikTok, and they jump ship from TikTok after like two months because it's obvious TikTok's in trouble. It was more than two months, but yes, and it was like uh, three and a little bit more. Uh, yeah, well, I think he hit within his 90-day window. Like, yep, I'm out of here. 
And uh, then we had another Disney Plus exec uh, go over to some publisher. I can't remember if it was Hearst or, or who it was, but uh, uh, she jumped ship too. So they're trying to retain their talent because you know these other companies are going to be like, yeah, we'll scoop up some Disney people. Yeah, well, they have a lot of talent that's, you know, in line trying to get... Trying to feed themselves. Get food, yes. So they're talking about, you know, cutting back the, uh, the park hours. Again, we've heard rumors of the park going to five days a week. No, um, that rumor is circulating again about Universal. Oh, for now, Universal. Now, I don't know if it's true or not, but I've heard it a couple times. I'll have to check in with my Universal peeps and see, but um, I've heard that. I've heard it for Disney, too, but I haven't seen anything about that other than the hours being cut. A lot of people canceling, obviously, because worried they're worried about the coronavirus. People canceling because they don't want to go and have to wear a mask. Um, you know, people canceling because they can't afford to travel right now because they lost their jobs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so, yeah, I mean most people's minds the very last thing they're thinking about is a trip to disney world so they are getting a lot of locals but right, a lot right. of people aren't tra and that's where the hotel stays come in and all of that and that's where a good, I mean, most of their money actually comes from like right. the hotel so they stays. do deals for like annual pass holders and are doing deals for people that are like in clo close by states florida residents so they're talking even on motley fool they think that the attendance is going to dip again because now it's back to school time yes they're like they've missed their their window of opportunity which was summer and uh, now people might be feeling a little bit better about traveling, but now everybody's got to go back to school. And now they're worried about the schools having another surge in cases. So the colleges around here are already shutting down because they are, there was a surge in cases because, hey, it was it was pledge week. Yeah. Party time. That actually did happen. There was a there was a college uh, that was open for what, like a week. They had a big party It was open for like two or three weeks. But yeah, they're already going to to, to they're shutting down for two weeks and going online because there was a surge in cases. Yeah. So Pledge week. So it's yeah, this is going to be an ongoing thing. And then, you know, Miami, they got they got a lot of cases down there. And a lot of people just aren't for whatever reason. They're just like, yeah, 2020 is canceled. We're not doing it. They're talking about how, um, you know, next fall. And that's the thing. People, when they go f in the fall, they go for the Halloween events. Right. They canceled them. They're canceled. They canceled uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Universal canceled Halloween Horror Nights. They have bits and pieces of those events in both parks, but it's not the same as no. having the actual. I know. I feel event. bad. A lot of people like I know one lady on our, our Instagram was talking about on the PMP Instagram was talking about how um, I think it was late. I can't remember. It was all excited because this is the first time they were going to do Halloween and I like, can't. Now you'll be able to do it next year. I know on some of the boards, the Disney boards, a lot of people are saying that they're canceled until next fall or they're going back, but they're going back next year. Yeah. So I see that all the time. But hey, Mulan comes out this weekend. That's going to fix everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, people said it was pretty good. I'm oh, I was going to buy it either way because I, I wanted to see it. But uh, now if you wait until like December 4th, you could get it on Disney Plus for no extra money. Yeah. Well, so but I'm not waiting then. We'll watch it so we can well, review it. We'll watch it. People actually said it was pretty good. They said it was actually a pretty good movie. How did they see it? Uh, I, review copies? I think it's review copies. And we didn't get one. Well, they never get put on the, the, the media list there either, do we? Oh, we're on a list over I'm at sure Disney. We're on a list. It's just not the media <laughs> they list. They were smart. They put us on the media list because, you know, people actually know we're going to be fair and honest. Yeah. Well, they don't like that. No. Uh, I will tell you firsthand as someone who is on the approved media list, they don't like fair. Yeah, they, look and over, they look over your shoulders and make sure that you're using all the right hashtags Absolutely. that they've assigned you. If you have an interview with with one of their ambassadors or people, there's a prefer, there's a, a, a question list that you're allowed to choose questions from. Yeah. You're not allowed to. I'm like, oh, great. You get a chance to ask some questions and you can no. ask your own questions. No, no. If no. you get the opportunity to talk to them, you must ask them questions from a prepared list that they have been programmed to answer. It's it's the same with they do it with their celebrities when they're doing the uh, uh, the like the YouTube interviews and stuff like that. They basically give you you can ask this person one of these 10 questions. Mm -hmm. You get your 10 minutes with them. You're out the door. We get the next schlub in here to, you know, ask. And, and that's that's how they work. It's very controlled. Um you know, and again, it's, we're not controlled easily. We're not controlled easily. That's, that's a problem. That's why <laughs> they don't like people going rogue. And usually they like to buy them off with cupcakes and shit. But I don't think they I can like afford cupcakes. that. I like cupcakes. I have the hair, though. I have the rogue-esque hair. You do. You do. So, you know. I thought you were going to say I like don't cupcakes. Don't like me anywhere to Captain Marvel. I thought you were going to say I like cupcakes, but I don't like shit. Well, that's true. I don't. I, I like cupcakes, but I don't like shit. Well, they probably have like poop emoji cupcakes somewhere. Mm, probably. Oh. I've already been eyeing up the treats um, they're having for this fall, and I'm like, ooh, I want that one. Ooh, I want that one. Yeah, we're we're debating 
debating about checking it out, going down. We used to go down like every month or every yep. other month. And uh, we have not been down since February. We actually mm -hmm. canceled. You were not feeling well. But it had nothing to do with COVID. I, yeah, I had a really bad like uh, ear infection or something going on. And I didn't think flying was a good idea. When my ear hurt so bad, I could cry. Going up in an airplane, if you've ever been in an airplane with ear issues, is absolutely terrible. So I've done that before. I did not want to do that again. So we canceled a couple days or day before we went down. We were going to go down to... Uh, uh, ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And it was opening the opening day. of uh, food or the Flower and Garden. Flower and Garden. And then like a week or two later, they shut the parks down. So Yeah. So we didn't um, get down there again then. Yeah. So we haven't we haven't been down, but we're, we're debating. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. But um, just kind of a side note here. If you haven't been checking out Pirates and Princesses, uh, WDW Pro has been writing for us. Mm -hmm. He was an insider who used to write on the Magic Forums. Mm -hmm. uh, he would come on with you know some different uh, inside information and uh, usually sparked quite a bit of uh, discussion. And salty penguins. And salty penguins. And uh, he put an article up today on Pirates and Princesses talking about Splash Mountain that um, they're still trying to... to you know, plow forward with their 2021 plans. Originally, the 2021 was going to be the biggest damn thing mm -hmm. ever. That was what we've been hearing for years. Even going back to the other blog we worked on three, four years ago, they were like, 2021 is everything. Well, now they don't have any money. So now we're talking like recycled uh, floats for the parade. Yeah. And now they're talking that they might not change Splash Mountain in Magic Kingdom right away that they're going to change it in Disneyland, which makes well, sense anyway. I don't know. I'm still waiting for them to not change it to Magic Kingdom, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, I don't think anybody's going to be too upset to hear that they aren't changing it at the Magic Kingdom right away. So. No. Um, there's a couple. I mean, Disneyland, it makes sense because it's it's New Orleans yeah, themed. Yeah, it makes and it's, sense it's, there. Plus, the animatronics there were recycled. They were they were taken from America Sings. I think they're, they're, they're actually different. If you ride the Disney World one and the Disneyland one, they are different. I like the Disney World one better. Yeah, Disney World is way better. The boats um, are better too. Yeah, the side by side. Disney Disneyland's didn't didn't age terribly well. So for that one to get refurbed, I'm like, eh, whatever. Um, but yeah, so supposedly this is a rumor. Um, this is a rumor that they're looking at uh, holding off on changing Splash Mountain and Magic Kingdom until after the 50th because they want to have it open. Right. Obviously, and they can't probably want to push when it's working. When it's working, and they probably want to push uh, push back the cost. Is, is as far well, as like if they want to spend some money, they need to start fixing their crap because we've got you know uh, the the people movers down, uh, test track is breaking, uh, yeah. rise of the resistance keeps breaking, yeah, uh, animatronics are like going down all the time, uh, and yeah, I get it, it happens often. I mean, we know it does, but it seems to be like with an increased frequency now, um, it could just be more people have their cameras ready than they used to. Who knows? But it does seem like it's an, it's an increased frequency. Boats are sinking on Splash Mountain. Boats sunk at Jungle Cruise before the shutdown. It's just, it seems like they were spreading themselves too thin and they weren't maintaining what they should maintain. Um, so maybe they should spend some money doing that or maybe they should take some of the money and, you know, donate to the food bank for the cast members. Yeah, I mean, the unfortunate thing about this is now Pro says that they're going to depend on Disney World even more. E after the pandemic because you know they they there's a you know potential cold war going on with china and um you know it's just there's a lot of things you know the movies are down theaters are down but the sad reality is is that if the attendance doesn't pick back up uh we are looking at more permanently potentially well, permanently unemployed cast members well i he said on the article that about the vaccine coming late this year it's Yes and no. We've talked to some doctors and medical friends and stuff. And yeah, it, well, it might get something at the end of this year, but it's going to be in very limited supply. I don't expect it to be, uh, you know, really, really under control till later next year. So I think 2021 might still have some issues. I mean, I think the people are going to go. Yeah. But I think I, I don't foresee it coming back to 22 or 23 even. Yeah, that's everything we've been hearing with with travel is at this point, you're, you're talking two to three years uh, of, you know, rebound. But we'll and go with optimism and say 2021. Well, we'll, we'll take that optimism. Take the choke on that spoonful of sugar. Um, but yeah, I think, I mean, this this kind of reminds me of the downturn in Disney attendance after 9-11, but worse, <laughs> you know, because people were afraid oh, to fly, yeah. so they weren't... They yeah, weren't but nothing like this. Nothing like this. And they did. Back then, they canceled, you know, they, they stopped Pop Century halfway through it, mm -hmm. and they wouldn't finish it until years later as Art of Animation, but there were a lot of rides that were canceled 
canceled. There are a lot of, and that's mm-hmm. that's just gonna happen now. Like Disney at this point, everybody's gotten used to Disney expanding the parks. Like every year, we announce a new ride, we announce a new thing, we announce. Don't look for that for at least half a decade at this point. Well, they're gonna have to catch up everything they already have announced. So you know, everything's getting postponed or altered. Pray they don't all show the deal further. I don't know what to tell you. It is what it is. Um, but we wrapping this one up. I think we're going to wrap this up. Uh, definitely, you know, if you guys can go out, uh, check out the article, see how you can help. Yeah, there's an email address in here. Castmemberpantry at gmail.com. If you want to reach out to them, if you want to help. And uh, yeah, way to go. Way to go, Disney. All right. So we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Okay. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we'll talk later. Bye.